Hi friends, this is Bakapa. In this REST Assured AP testing tutorial, I am going to discuss about how to pass basic auth details in REST Assured API testing. Let's look at the manual test scenario first. Then we'll start automating that by using the REST Assured library. I will go to the Postman tool now. So here I'm using basic auth API and I'm passing the get as the HTTP method and followed by the endpoint as postman-echo.com and followed by basic-auth and inside the authorization I'm passing the username and password by selecting the basic auth and I'm clicking on send button and if you look at here so we are getting the 200 as a status code and also we are getting the API response body right so after creating the rest assured API request that's a get API request using the rest assured we will validate the status code as the 200. So let's go to the Eclipse IDE now and we'll start creating the simple Java class. So I will go inside the com.testautomation.apitesting.tests package. Inside this package, I'm going to add the simple class. So here I'll say no, sorry, sorry guys. Here I'll say new and followed by other. And here I'm, here I'm typing the class. And I'm selecting the test ng class here and I will click on next and I'll specify the class name as basic auth. Then I will click on finish. So here we got the basic auth Java class and I will modify the test method name as basic auth API test. So that's it. Let's create the get API request using the REST Assured now. So here I'm using the simply REST Assured dot. Here I'm using the given keyword and followed by that I am specifying the auth as a method and followed by that I'm calling to the another method called basic. So here we have to pass the username and password whatever we are passing it from the postman so let's pass the username and password over here so i will go to the postman tool i will copy this username and i'll paste it here now i will copy the password and i'll paste it here so that's it then i will add the content type as content type dot json and followed by that i'll specify the endpoint so i'll copy the endpoint from the postman tool and then i will use the another keyword called when so here we have to specify what type of api call we are making so in our case it is a get api call so if you look at the postman api request it is a get api call so here i am specifying the get as a method and followed by that I'm using the then keyword. Inside the then keyword, firstly, I'm going to call to the assert that. And then I'm adding the validation for the status code as the 200. So here I'll say status code and followed by that expected value inside the method. So that's it, guys. So now we have created the get API request by specifying all the basic auth details using the rest assured now let's run the api test so now let's open the console output and our api test is running and if you look at the result total test run is one and that is getting passed and we have the zero failures right so our test is working fine Let's say if I pass the incorrect details over here. Simply I will pass the incorrect password. Again, I will run this API test and this time it will get failed because we will not get the appropriate response from the web server. So our test is running and if you see here, so our test got failed because we have passed the incorrect password and the expected status code is 200 but we are getting the 
401 that is an unauthorized request so now what we can do is let's say for example if you are a, if you are having 100 or 200 api test you cannot pass the basic auth details like this right so you can pass it in the base test so let's start creating a one simple util method that returns us the basic auth details basically right so what i'm doing is uh, simply i'll go to the our uh, rest api helper class and inside this one we will create a one simple util method and uh, type of this method is request specification so this particular object we can pass on to the our api request so here i'm just writing public static and followed by i'm specifying the request specification and followed by the method name here i'll say get basic auth so that's it and here i'll add the return statement so we have to return return the request specification type of object right so before adding the return statement let's write the statement whatever we are using it in the our rest assured api test so here i'm using the rest assured followed by dot given and followed by we are using the auth and we are specifying the username and username and password over here inside the basic method right so here i'll say password right so we have to pass the username first let's add the username and i will add the password as well so this is a valid username and password and simply i will write the return statement so before writing the return statement and if you look at here basic method it is returning returning the request specification so that's the reason i have specified the this method return type as request specification so here i'm writing just a return statement simply it will return the this particular basic auth details so that's it guys so let's call this particular method in the our api test so i will go back to the basic auth java class and here i will delete this whole line whatever we are passing it in the api test so simply i will say dot and spec so this particular spec method is accepting the type of argument is request specification so we have to specify the request specification object so we can directly call this particular method by using the class name as it is a static method so here i'll say rest api helper dot get basic auth that's it guys so we are done with implementing the simple util method that will pass the basic auth details to the web server or the web application server let's run this api test so if you are implementing 500 or 1000 api test simply you can call that particular method and if there is a change in the username and password simply you can update over there in the util method that's it and sometimes what you can do is uh, most of the times so that username and password will be there in the properties file or the databases so simply you can read that particular data using the any of the util methods and uh, simply pass on to the your required api test and if you look at this particular output our test is getting passed there are zero failures this is how you can pass the basic auth details in the rest assured api testing and also you can this is how you can optimize the code while writing the api test test cases
welcome to ABA testing full course. You can access all the exercise which we have done in the whole ABA testing course. I have already provided this uh, link in the video description. So anyone can access this link and also you can get the whole collections and also the envir environment variable de details. So you can take that URL which is there in the description of this below video and paste it in the web browser. And after that, so once it is opened, so you need to export this uh, collections into the your local system. So it will open like this after ex accessing the link. So this is a public access URL which which I have shared it. You can <clears throat> click on this booking API. You can see all the APIs are there inside the two folders. So what you can do is you can click on this three dots and you can export it. So you can click on this export and firstly you can export this booking API collection and after that on the right side you can select the booking API environment and after that click on this icon and click on the edit then you can click on three dots and you can click on this export. So this will export the environment variable details. So after exporting it so you will get the these two files. And once once you have the, these two files, you can go to the Postman and you can click on this import and make sure you are there in this uh, file tab and you can click on choose files and you can select the first link collection that's the Postman collection and you can open it and after that you can click on import. So firstly you can load the Postman collection and after that you can load the environment details. So as I have already these APIs in my system, I don't want to import it. And this is how you can get the exercise which we have done in the API testing full course. You can find all the code which I have discussed in the rest assured API testing full course. You can search with the backup ion GitHub in the google.com. And here you can go to the my GitHub repository. And over here in the repositories tab, you will find the rest assured API testing framework. You can go inside the this repository and you can click on this code and you can copy this URI and by using this URI and you can simply use the git in your local machine and you can simply clone it by using the git clone and followed by that specify the URL. So you will get the whole code which I have discussed in the rest assured API testing full course.